Okay. Kelly. Head. This is my mind, head. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. You're safe. There has been a bit of bleeding, all right? So we need to make sure the baby's okay. He's dead. He's dead. I'm very sorry for your loss. Let's get you looked at, shall we? I'm just gonna go and find a porter. Well. Perfectly healthy, apart from that sprained ankle yours. So uh, try not to put too much weight on it for a few days. All right. Listen, uh, the police are outside and they want to ask you some questions. I can't. Please, no, yeah. I, I don't want to speak to anyone. sit here with you for a few minutes. Been on late for three nights in a row now. And to be honest with you, I could do with a break from the woman who insists on calling me Big Daddy. <laughs> Don't ask. We get all sorts in here. Every day is uh, interesting. So what about you? What do you do? Nothing exciting. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. Not like you, anyway. Big superhero saving people's lives, the perfect man. <laughs> well, my wife would probably disagree with you on that one. <laughs> Come on, tell me. Tell me about this job of yours. Oh, dear man. Tell me. Please. <sighs> I, I own a coffee. Come, Daddy, Coffee Mike. Why not the one? Really? Yeah. So there's this. There's this bloke that comes in every day, right? Dai, his name is. Mm. He owns a building company. And he's always complaining about the half portions that I apparently give him. So this one day I could see him, I could see him coming from across the street, and I thought, here we go now, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Honestly. I was out cold <laughs> for about seven minutes. The baby had come out by the time I woke up. Is it like this every day? What a complete disaster. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have my good days and bad days. You know, there was a girl in the bed across from you. Thirty weeks gone. She didn't have anyone. No friends, no family. Nobody called up to see how she was doing, you know. She barely spoke. I found out later that she'd been living on the street. I had no idea what happened to her. God, that's awful. Uh, but then, she came back in a few days ago with the baby. She told me she got a part-time job <laughs> and that she and the baby were doing well. Oh. So, that was a good day. Mm -hmm. Police. I 
adamant that they need to speak to you now. Okay, and I don't think we can hold off Antinita any longer either. So once you've spoken with them, you're free to go home, okay? This is Charles, my drug guinea. I'm arriving at Winkville, I'm going to go to the next one. 